Greetings, Claflin family. I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your patience during this unprecedented time. Claflin University has been working very hard to ensure the safety and well-being of all the constituents that we serve here at our institution. That's our students, that's our faculty, that's our staff, that's the alumni, and all of the community. This coronavirus has changed and become a new normal for this institution and worldwide. We are doing everything in our power to follow local, state, and federal officials' recommendations. With that being said, Governor McMaster, during his press conference yesterday, announced and asked all public and private institutions to go completely online to offer their courses. To support the governor's mandate, Claflin University has decided, effective March 23rd, all of our courses will be online for the remainder of the spring 2020 semester. We know this can be a challenge. Faculty and staff has gone through intense training all of the week of March the 16th through March the 20th to prepare for this transition. But we want to reassure you, your safety and well-being is our top priority and is our goal to ensure that we do everything in our power to make sure that this campus remains safe. With that being said, faculty and staff will be working consolidated flex work schedules to ensure that we're practicing social distancing. It is our top priority once again to ensure that faculty, staff, and students are safe during this time. Also in the spirit of practicing social distancing, we are canceling all activities and events on the campus for the remainder of the spring semester. Claflin family, this has truly been a collaborative effort. Joining me now to engage in conversation is the chair of our nursing department, Dr. Shannon Smith. Also joining me is our student government president, Matthew Coverson Springs. Both will be talking about from a health perspective and also to a student perspective. Now, I would like to turn it over to Dr. Smith to share with us a little information as it relates to health and the coronavirus. Thank you, Dr. Warmat. Hello, Claflin family and friends. As a healthcare professional, I concur with Dr. Warmack, and our number one priority is your safety and the stop of the coronavirus. I ask that you protect yourself, first of all. Wash your hands faithfully at least 20 seconds. Sing happy birthday to yourself for uh, two times or use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol. Cover coughs or sneezes, and then wash your hands again. Practice social distancing. That means avoiding going out in public unless it's absolutely necessary. And if you do, stay at least six feet away from others. Disinfect surfaces and packages that you might receive in the mail. You can spray them with Lysol spray and allow it to sit 24 hours or use Clorox disinfecting wipes. Be vigilant and watch out for others, especially those at risk. That's our elderly, people with a chronic condition such as hypertension, diabetes, any lung disease such as emphysema, COPD, asthma, bronchitis, and those who have compromised immune systems. You should know the symptoms of the coronavirus. They include fever, shortness of breath that was not previously present, extreme fatigue, or a cough. If you find that you have symptoms, do not go to your doctor's office or a hospital. Call your primary care provider or reach out online. Many hospital institutions have websites set up where you can log in and get information through telehealth. Take advantage of those. This will help decrease the spread of the coronavirus. If you believe that you have been exposed, you should self-quarantine. That means you stay at home away from others for at least 14 days. Check your temperature every day to make sure that you're not running a fever. Again, be vigilant in this proce process. Stay prayerful. God bless you, Claflin family. Now we have Matt, our student government president, will share with us the impact as it relates to student activities on campus. Thank you, President Warmack. In light of social distancing, there will be no campus activities or events. I know this may be uh, disappointing to some and want to have a more fulfilled year of different events and things, but safety is first. As a senior, I feel heart to heart with the student body. With that being said, we will still try to continue and have that Panther pride on campus by putting everything online. 
So that goes from the SJ elections to town halls and even different contests and activities we'll be having from our student activities. Regardless, we'll still show that Panther pride and push forward throughout the pandemic of the coronavirus. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Thank you, Matt, for being here with me and participating. Claflin family, in the spirit of social distancing and mandates by the federal government in regards to gatherings of 10 or less, Claflin has had to take a critical look at all major activities and events, one being commencement and graduation. We know how important this event is. Class of 2020, you all have given blood, sweat, and tears to this outstanding institution, four years of laboring in the classrooms, engaged in co-curriculum experiences, and was waiting for this very special day. But unfortunately, due to the coronavirus and social distancing requirements, we are having to postpone the commencement ceremony. But there's been many conversation and dialogue related to should we do a virtual commencement? Should we cancel commencement? But I think it's in the best interest to allow those students to still have this transformational experience to postpone it into December 2020. So you still have the opportunity to walk across the stage and your family is there to celebrate with you during this outstanding moment. Students completing all degree requirements still will receive their degree May 2020. We will mail that information out to students. Family, thank you again for your patience and understanding during this difficult time. We will continue to send out updates and information on all of our social media platforms and also on our website. Please continue to keep us in your prayers as we work through this international pandemic. God bless you. Thank you.